hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to add a database in firebase real time database and then we are going to add the data inside flask web application on raspberry pi 4 latest version raspbian os bull size 64 bit so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started i have create a repository okay so this is what our repository rpi4 flask app firebase database okay so simply i will mention the link you need to copy paste the link inside the browser because inside that i have create a full flask code for application so just go to the code and then you can simply download zip file or you can simply copy from this link and open the terminal and we are going to simply open uh, we are going to simply basically clone our repository not open so just zoom in as i mentioned you can simply download zip format repository also and you need to simply extract the files or you can simply go from code copy the link from here open terminal and run the command git clone and paste the link and just hit enter it will clone our repository okay so we have done with our repository now what we want to do we want to create a firebase account first so i have created the firebase account this is the website this is the front page click on get started button and simply you need to uh, you need to sign up with your google account okay just sign up with your google account that's it and then here you will see this kind of console okay so i have already logged in with my account gmail account and then you will see this kind of console here as you can see i already created the first project or we can save the one project so i'm going to create uh, another project for this tutorial so just click on add project and then we need to mention the project name so rpi4 continue then here we need to also click on continue so just click on the continue button and then configure google analytics so here we need to select default account for firebase just click on here and then you will see default account for firebase this is the option which we want to select then click on create project and now it's creating our project so it will take some time so friends as you can see your new project is ready means we have successfully create our project click on continue that's it then it will open the console it's opening console so friends here it is as you can see this is what our project console page so first we want to create web app so here it is as you can see just click on the web tab and then we need to mention the application name so rpi4 you can mention any name as per your requirement so rpi4 click on register app so friends as you can see we have done we have registered our app add firebase sdk as you can see so now simply here we need to click on continue to console that's it now what we want we want a real time database so just click on build then we need to select here this option which is the real time database as you can see so let me show you again click on build button then real time database select the real time database and then it will open this kind of console where we can see the real time database store and synchronize data in real time so click on create database okay here we need to select a database location so i am going to select united states click on next then start in test mode click on enable and that's it as you can see we successfully create our real time database so this is what our link so now what we are going to do we need to open our code so just go here programming 
Thony and now it will open our Thony Python ID. So first we need to install the package. So go to the tools, manage packages and firebase, firebase hyphen admin. Just click on search on PyPy. Firebase hyphen admin. This is what our package name firebase hyphen admin. Just click on it and just click on install button. It will install firebase admin package on our Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version. That's it because the flask is already installed. So there is no need to install flask. Okay. Or simply you can cross check. You need to simply search for flask. Just hit enter. Click on flask. And as you can see, there is no install or uninstall button because Flask is by default installed on Raspberry OS Bullseye. That is the 64-bit version. So we have done with package installation. Now simply I am going to close Untitled, go to the file, click on Open and we are going to open our app.py. So uh, we have our repository, rpy4 Flask app Firebase database, click on app.py. It will open app.py. Okay. So as you can see, we have here from Flask, import Flask, render template request, then import Firebase admin, then from Firebase admin, import credentials and DB. So import date time, then this is the, this is how we create the Flask application. Okay. So app is equal to Flask name. And then here we need to mention the initialize means we need to mention the Firebase credentials. So credential is basic the key the JSON key and then we need to mention here the database URL. Okay. So simply go here and we need to go here. This as you can see the project overview here, just click on it, go to the project setting and then just scroll down, scroll down and here we, we basically want a database URL. So as you can see, there is no database URL. So what we are going to do, we need to simply make a refresh once time. Okay. So just refresh the page. So we successfully refresh our page. Now if we scroll, scroll down and then here as you can see we have database URL. So when we create a database URL in that time there is no database URL link. We need to simply refresh the page, this page. Let me show you again. When we done with database creating process, so just go here project overview, go to the project setting. Okay. And then you will see this kind of page. Okay. And here web apps, this is basically the web apps where we have all the traditional. So in that time, there is no database URL, this link. We need to simply refresh the page and then it will automatic add the update means it will automatic add our database URL link. So this is what our database URL link. Is. So in your case, of course, it will be different. So just copy it from here database URL and open the code and here in database URL just paste that link just paste it okay like this way and then now we need our JSON file so for that again open our console page and just go up and here we need to click on the service accounts as you can see the service accounts so just click on service account and then here, as you can see, we have here JSON key. So just click on generate new private key, click on generate key and it will download our new JSON key. As you can see, this is what my new key, this, these two keys basically old ones. Okay. So this one is new key, which I have just generated. So just click here, show in folder and this one is our new key. So just cut and go to the home then our repository which one this one rpy4 flask app and just paste here just paste it that's it now what we want to do we want to mention the path so right click the key and copy as path open our Tony python id again and just remove this old one path with new one okay just paste it 
that's it now save now we are ready now what we want to do we want to create a templates folder and inside that folder we need to save our index.html file so right click here click on new folder and templates this is what our folder name templates click on ok and index.html we need to move inside our templates folder that's it we have done now simply what we are going to do we need to start our app.py and as you can see this is what our local host link which is 127.0.01 and 5000 is the port by default port for flask so just we need to mention our link 127.0.0.1 just hit enter so as you can see this is what our application right now there is no data there is no username there is no timestamp if i open the firebase just let me open the chrome browser and just go here real time database and as you can see right now there is nothing so now we are going to add the username okay so just open our application so here mention the username so let's say Sanket Prabhu click on submit and then you will see the username and timestamp it means we successfully send our username and the timestamp on our Firebase database here it is as you can see user data if you click here again here also timestamp is there and the username which we add simple so then now let's go with another person name so let's say click on submit as you can see we have add the another person name or we can say another user name okay so now if you again go here and just click here user data and here it is as you can see this one is our new entry if you click here the timestamp is there and the username is there so this is our friends you you can create the simple flask web application for adding the database on firebase i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye